Hey guys, so today I have a haul for you. It's gonna be pretty short compared to the rest of my videos. I just have not been purchasing lately. So um, yeah, let's just jump right in. I think I'm gonna start with the Caress Press stuff that I have just because um, I don't usually, uh, I guess buy her stuff so we'll just go through that first okay so first is this to school kit it's so pretty i was looking for like back to school kids that weren't like super girly um because i have a son but i already like planned my back to school my son's back to school week um i actually finished it yesterday so um but anyway this is really pretty and for her kit i only get the minis because i don't use most of the stuff in here i really just want it for like the full boxes and the bottom washi and the headers pretty much so um this bottom washi is so pretty um hers is just like a really thick piece of bottom washi but you can get like different options for a small strip of bottom washi if you want to like cut this and you know have two different sets um and then here is this page it has a bunch of little deco pieces which i love um her stuff does not come with well no gets come with florals but um they don't have florals that go with them so for these i just kind of like search sadie stickers usually because she keeps like a lot of florals on her website or um i'll just look I'll look for different kits that maybe match the vibe or the colors, I should say, um, and find a floral that I think will look pretty and just go from there. So, this next one is another back to school, but first, this was in there. This was the freebie. This is super cute, and it's like this orange holographic foil it's on shiny paper but it's really cute this is thick thighs fall vibes spice girl pumpkin patch cutie leggings leaves and lattes please this is super cute sorry about the glare on it but super cute okay so this one is called sorry i'm trying to fix the pages this one is called a uh, Scholar Society. This one is really cute. Um, this one kind of gives me like college vibes because of this like courtyard situation, but there's no pink in it. <laughs> so I wasn't sure, you know, like I said, what I was gonna do, but. Um, and these, I almost didn't get it because the colors are so bright. But that's okay because like I said, I usually just um, use the, um, like my own um, like boxes and stuff so I can tone it down. Um, I'll probably like do something different with the bottom washi. Um, it's a little much for me. Um, and then again, here's the page with the deco. I have no idea what kind of florals um, I would use with this, but maybe some fall kind of florals um and then these three sorry my ac just came on um but these three full boxes are um freebies i think i think these come with it i can't remember let me see what this is oh my god that's hilarious this says take your ass to class i love it this is really cute okay next kit oh i did get this um solid bottom washi to go with that just to like i said to break that up a little bit because it is a little bit much for me personally this next one i went back and forth about buying um because it's like a winter christmas themed kit um this was uh, a kit that she released last year and I remember when I seen it I was like oh my god I need to buy this but like I said I don't 
I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to like pull it off with my new style so I didn't purchase it and I was so upset about it so I bought I bought it um when she had a sale um because I was like yes please like look at this this house is beautiful the scenes are stunning like come on so I bought it and then I I don't know y'all it's something about glitter headers I love them so much um I mentioned this in like the kit that I used a couple months ago from caress press and I just love it and I probably wouldn't even cut down this bottom washi because it's so freaking cute I love it and then this extra scene right here is really pretty you get some deco I do wish that she offered like a large deco um, situation because um, she usually has a lot of like clip art um, so love that and then I just bought another um, strip just in case and then it did also come with this extra box super super cute I love this kit I'm so glad that I bought it Okay, next is going to be Rose Shadow Collection. So, let me show you the freebies. This was a freebie. This little Chanel purse. Um, and this is like a non-sticker item, but it's so freaking cute. I had to buy it. I don't know where I'm going to put it yet, but you guys, look at this i am freaking in love she has like the dopest pins um so yeah love her for those so from rose shadow collection i usually only buy the full boxes um from her kids just because um i mean it's easier because i know like a lot of the other stuff i probably wouldn't use so I only buy the full boxes, but this is really pretty. I don't know what this is called, um, but it's a fall, fall in the city kind of kit. It's very, very pretty. And then this is what I went on for. So I am so excited for this. This is the Haunted Mansion um, kit and when we go see this movie oh my god i cannot wait to use this and see this movie so this is foiled in holographic um i purchased just the full boxes but she sent the whole like booklet this is how her um kids come so anyway again here are the full boxes And here's the second page of full boxes. So this won't necessarily be like a Halloween kit for me. This will be whenever we watch the movie. It's getting a whole week. Um, so this is typically what comes in her kits. So you get some checklists on the side, some bill dues, some like weekly habit trackers. You got these um, post stamps and then three of these like skinny washi things. Next you have um, two sets of date covers. I like these, they're really cool. And then some headers down here. Then you get a page of boxes and they are foiled everything is foiled and then up top you have some circles some layering pieces some page flags some torn paper i do really like this torn paper i'm excited to see like how i'm gonna plan with this so then you have some arches and some more like fancy boxes and then this is the bottom washi so it's a three a triple washi so you have um these two are the same size it looks like the one in the top and the bottom and then you have this like skinny strip of silver or just of like a glitter washi super pretty i'm not sure if i'm gonna use the bottom washi yet or not 
Um, and then you have the transparent holographic stickers, the like deco. So this is really cool that um, she includes this in her kits. Super, super grateful. This is cute, I love that. And then you also get date dots uh, a Monday through Sunday and this is on transparent paper. So this is great, you guys. Like um, if you don't wanna use the headers or not the headers, the um, date covers um, with like the pattern and stuff, you can do your own and it's so perfect. Um, and then you get these quotes and everything. I love it, honestly, this is amazing. So that's everything from Rose Shadow Collection. Uh, let's see. Next, let's go Harriet Wright Designs. I did get quite a bit from her. Um, so I'm excited to open this. Okay, so first, this is the freebie that came with it. Let me get you up close. So it just has a bunch of like little quotes cut out um, in squares and this is so cute. Okay, and then um, I think I showed you guys in my last haul that I got this gold um, ruler from Harry Wright Designs. It is so freaking cute. I love it. But here, let me just take this off the pack first. I also saw this one, it's a triangle, and I just thought that was so freaking cool. So I bought this one as well. I feel like this would be a little bit easier for me um, to use when I'm cutting, so love this. She has some really cool stuff on her site, so. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna start with this one. So this was another freebie. So you have these circles, these three different color circle swatches. So I grabbed one fall and one Halloween. Um, this, besides the Rose Shadow Collection one, like I said, I already knew that wasn't gonna be my Halloween kit. Um, I just bought it because I really love the Haunted Mansion movie. Like that is a Halloween staple for me. Um, so every year, like I have to watch that movie because I love it so much. It's so, it's just really nostalgic for me. So I always watch it. And then, um, but, uh, Harry Ray Designs, uh, she posted the very first Halloween kit that I saw and immediately bought it. <laughs> um, and then I was like, dang, I probably should have waited a little bit to see what everyone else was going to come out with, but I could not be bothered. So, yeah, I'm excited about it either way. I think it's going to be so much fun. I think I did buy one other Halloween kit, so you'll see that in this haul as well, probably. Um, but this is the Lake House kit. And get you up close this little scene right here is so pretty i love harriet wright designs but her um her washi doesn't go like the full width of the page there's like a little bit of space left over and it like bugs the crap out of me but her designs are so pretty i just I have to keep purchasing they're so good I love the like single line I just wish it wasn't so pattern heavy because uh, I don't know if you guys know I know I've mentioned it before but I don't like uh, floral headers just because I feel like they look very busy on top of full boxes so I always opt for like the simple single line one color or maybe like a texture or something but so we'll see how this one goes it's very pattern heavy but it's pretty like i said i i love it um here is the bottom washi again it's so pretty these colors her colors are so vibrant and just so good and her paper is so thick i love it 
however um her white outline is usually really aggressive like it's always really really big this looks better than the last kit that i had um for sure but like some things are overly outlined and some things aren't like this one looks pretty good this looks pretty standard as far as the border goes but this floral let's see is outlined pretty thickly so just keep that in mind if you do order from Harriet Wright Design um, that if you're going to like be doing a lot of layering and all that just be mindful um, because her florals are th that way as well like these are lines pretty thick so again just be just be aware um, that that's what you're gonna get um, hopefully you know that changes here soon but I don't know um, what she has going on I'm not like on her PR team or anything like that so I don't know but hopefully you know something happens I do love that she includes the Monday through Sunday in her journaling kit and then I did get another page of florals and trims have to have those love that kit and again that is the lake house kit okay this is the halloween kit oh my god look at this so i also saw i want to say mm, saucy stickers and also letters to apollo used this artwork um theirs was a little more like creepy like it had the like can't remember but this one I feel like is a happy medium like it's not like it's spooky looking but it's not like too creepy I don't know how to explain it um and then these are the boxes page because I remember um it was like the spooky looking lady or whatever that a lot of people didn't like but um Jess has said Tara from the sticker garden had like requested it and so she wanted to make sure that she included it for her I believe that's what happened but um yeah I love this and also like I would have y'all know I love letters to Apollo if I didn't see this I would have bought it as well so um okay and then I grabbed two floral pages I love absolutely love that this floral page has little spiders and little bats so that is gonna be so perfect to like layer and like do because I did get some spiders and bats from Sadie stickers so that's gonna be really fun to like layer the different like the foil plus the black it's gonna be so cool okay this is the journaling page once again I am obsessed look at this so spooky and creepy and I love it and this bathtub stop it it has like all the little spiders and stuff I don't I didn't grow up like celebrating Halloween uh, my mom would would not allow me to trick or treat um usually um but when i got a little bit older she started letting me go like with my cousins and whatever like i could never go with like friends or anything like that because um we were just really religious and so that was just that was just that <laughs> um but i never felt like i was missing out on anything growing up so i don't know to this day i'm just i'm just like eh about halloween i don't like i don't hate it but like i also i'm just like eh, like if we go we go if not it's whatever but now that um aiden our son is like getting older we're trying to allow him to do certain things because i don't know kids just there's always a reason for a kid to complain and so we try and cut down on that but here is the um paper trail plans kit this kit is very journaly, and usually I shy away from those because I do a lot of like, um, well, okay, I'm not like as great with the layering as like Jenny um, or um, Jess from Paper Trail Plans. Like, they are like Jenny and her plans, and I can't remember what Jess from Paper Trail Plans' this Instagram handle is, Lustrous Plans. They are like top tier. They are my favorite when it comes to like layering. But 
anyway, I was going to say I kind of shy away from kits like this just because um, I want to try and get better with layering and, you know, figuring out, you know, what's going to work for me and stuff. And plus, I usually do a lot of like crazy stuff with the weeks and the sidebars and all the things. So I try and I don't know. I just don't want it to look super, super busy because I'm already like throwing everything I got on the page, you know. Um, but I love this kit. It's so pretty. And this is the journaling. I love this, um, what is this? This, like, torn paper, craft paper. And this scene is really pretty. The florals, everything about it, I freaking love. And then here is the floral page with like your apples and your butterflies you got two different color butterflies you have like the what is this a monarch and then this one is like a, a whitish yellow color and I love this so much I love this design it's so good um I'm gonna show you this first and I did get these transparent swatches and I grabbed this guy right here some more layering bits and then these two um, you know these two are essentially the same thing but this has more like um, these have like different clip art elements usually and then this is the basic one or that sounds crazy like y'all know I'm terrible with describing stuff so don't come to me looking for like the bombest description because I'm not your girl but <laughs> um I love this I love this idea it's everything so that is everything from paper trail plans I think I have one more kit coming from her I can't remember or coming from them let's do letters to Apollo next I'm so excited because this is the first um kit in her new format um but it's also I've I think I purchased another one in this format but I cannot remember what it is but this was the very first so I'm super excited to actually have it in my hands and see how I like it um, this is her three page format now. Um, and then of course you can buy like add-ons and things like that. She did, um, she does offer like the checklists and the sidebar stuff, um, on an add-on. So if you use those things, you can still get them to match the kit. It's just not included anymore. So this is the bottom washi. Oh my God. I love that so freaking much and then this um like newspaper not newspaper this like um y'all know what this is called <laughs> this is so pretty i love and then i i love these okay so this is the uh large floral and it has like this really pretty mushroom and strawberries and this is the large deco i'm so excited to plan with this i think this is going to be really fun in the sidebar um or possibly a center i still don't know what i'm going to call that the center sidebar that i do on like both halves of the week um i think this would be really cool there too because the pieces are so big this is going to be great okay so and then i grabbed um two uh, floral sheets i probably should have grabbed one more but only got two so that's all i got um for this kit like i said i do think i have another one coming but i'm not sure um oh and then i did get the monday through sunday as well um so in my last haul i think i hauled I hauled some uh, letters to follow stuff on Instagram a while ago and my all of my scripts weren't included so Jess um, sent them to me so these are just the read scripts y'all know I'm obsessed with these um, so I had bought three sets and only one was included so she went ahead and sent me the rest of them 
in that order. Okay, y'all know Sadie stickers will always be last in my lineup because it is like, I usually have the most stuff from her, but honestly, I haven't been shopping um, hardly anywhere. I just, I don't know. Let me see. This is missing me out. Let me see. Okay, so this was a freebie. This is her new freebie. Um, I don't think I have any other colors. I only have it in gold. Um, but I have a few of them now. And then this is the Autumn Breeze kit. You guys, this is freaking stunning. Y'all know I'm not the biggest fan of her new format. But I haven't used it yet either. So I'm still like... I'm holding on and it's still like a great kit so don't get me wrong and I love missing me I love Regina um, so yeah it's just these I don't like and I hate that she took out the lace um, circles because those were my favorite and then also like this like swatchy box I don't know how I feel about it again like I said I haven't used it yet so I'm not sure but I love this kit. The artwork in it is so, so pretty. And then I did get the transparent swatches. So you have like this like burnt reddish orange with some yellow orange, some greens. So good. And then these are so cute. I love those. So on here you get some florals, some torn paper, a film strip. This is going to be so stinking fun to plan with. And then um, you got some large clip art pieces. Again, I think this would be like best in the sidebar because there's not that many elements. So, I mean, there are, but they're not like the Letter Seal Paula one are like huge. So like since these are like big, but on a smaller scale compared to Letter Seal Paula. This would be best, like, if you wanted to do a horizontal sidebar. I think this would be great for that. So, I'll probably do that. I love this, like, picnic scene. I love the boat. This, like, wood. Um, I love it. This kit is freaking stunning. The florals are beautiful. Oh, so good. Actually, am I about to say something crazy? No, I think this would work. Um, I actually might buy more of these florals for that Caress Press Kit. This one? Like, okay, hear me out. Because once this is on the page, um, like, I was planning to use this for, like, the second half of the semester. No. When was I going to use this? Whenever they have, like, a fall thing at school. I can't remember what it's called. Um, but, like, look at the colors. I feel like these could go like this orange is basically the same this red that's in here is also very similar to this um, and then this like leaf thing is like this yellowish color I think that would go with that so I don't know let me know what you think in the comments yeah y'all are not about to tell me this does not go together let me bring it closer hold on like come on let me know what you think below like am i tripping but i think if i use this for like something fall related at school this will go together i don't know let me know <laughs> that was like so off topic but whatever anyway i love this kit i love the florals everything about it is so great i cannot wait to use that I'm getting ready to start um, doing like transitional kits so I'm super excited about that I finished all of my summer spreads so August when I start planning August it'll be like all transition um, into fall kits so like um, sunflowers and stuff like that and then I'll jump into fall for September spreads but this is a like great fall to winter transition I feel like it's called thankful or you could use this for you know uh, Thanksgiving or something but I'd probably pick something different but it's very pretty 
I love the colors. They're very soft. And I love this lace. Again, I'm so sad that she took the lace circles out because that lace is just so pretty. But these colors, you guys, are so pretty. And then here's the boxes page. Here's the bottom washi. I love this blue. This kit is just so good. And then here are the transparent swatches. I know they're hard to tell with my lights, but this is a really pretty green, like pinkish orange. This is more like a nudie kind of color. And then that blue is just so freaking good. Okay, and then here is the journaling page. I do have a kit from Missing Me Out that I feel like is similar to this. I know that she's used these florals before. I'll have to like go through my stuff and see if I can find it, but I don't care. <laughs> it's so pretty. And then um, these are the florals. I got two. I think two for Missing Me Out is great because I love that she does a variation of sizes. So you have like, um, these are like the kind of larger ones. Then you have this like medium size and then a really tiny one. And then you get like some greenery and like clip art. I think her floral sheets are perfect. Okay, so lastly is gonna be Sadie's stickers. One sec. Okay. So this is her acorn kit. This is super cute. Um I think this, because the colors are so light, would be a pretty transition kit um, from summer to fall. Um, or maybe from, for me personally, from sunflowers to fall. Um, so like, this could be like the first week of September or something for me. Um, but I love this, this is so pretty. It's so like light and airy. Um, as opposed to like the super um, like burnt oranges and all of that for fall um, so again I love it I love all the green in it it's very very pretty I am still waiting <laughs> for her um, kits to switch over to the lace I know her mystery kits do my kids are being loud in the back so sorry if you can hear that but um, here is the bottom washi. I don't even remember what I was saying. Um, here's the bottom washi. Super cute. And then here is the journaling page. I'm not like the biggest fan of this. I don't know. Um, this is usually like my favorite one. <laughs> um, but I love all the like script, um, on everything. I think that's going to be really fun to play with. And then this is the clip art on the deco page <laughs> so cute I don't know if you heard that but my daughter is like dad 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 da. okay um so here is the alcohol ink swatches she's a wild one y'all um and then here's the trims the florals are really really pretty in this kit I am a little bit nervous because they're kind of you know like um they're a little sparse, um, so I'm a little bit nervous, but I think the way that she did it, it's going to be fine. Um, like when you, when I, because I usually just cut them down the center, I think it's going to be fine. This is really pretty. Okay, oh my god. So this is the November kit. It's not a mystery. It's just, you know, she does a kit that matches a monthly. Um, so this is that for November and it is so pretty. She is starting to talk so much, you guys. Um, and as I'm filming this, she is nine months. It is September... 11th I believe so um anyway this is the November kit I love this like 
corner scene. It's really pretty. The florals are really pretty. I am so excited for this. Um, and I love the colors that she chose for this. They are stunning. Oh my God, I'm so ready to start planning. Yes, okay, this one has them. It has the lace, you guys. Oh my God, I'm so freaking excited. Oh, this is gonna be perfect. I, um, One more, not a complaint, just a suggestion. <laughs> I wish the lace matched like they were the same color. That would make it absolutely perfect for me personally. Here's the bottom washi. It's a little bit busy um, with this like blown in the wind. Like maybe if it was just a little bit lighter, but again, I love it. It's gorgeous. And then here's the window, clip bar, this little lantern, the door. Love, love, love. And I really like these as well. They're not like too patterned or anything like that. So that would be nice to pull in. Then here is the ink swatches. And here is the deco. Oh my God. I am so excited for this. I'm so freaking excited. I love, and I love that she is making her like big florals a little bit smaller so they're not like super blown out and taking up the whole page i love that i love the size of everything on that page and then here is the last journaling page again i love it i love sadie stickers her format is so good oh i almost forgot um here are the trims florals are beautiful again i freaking love them and then here are the um floral pages i probably could have gotten a third of this one um i may need to i don't know i don't know but again i love it and then i did get another one of rachel's freebies i just used like all of these that i have on her other freebies and i'm so sad about it i really really wish alicia would put those on a full sheet like a quarter size that would be so amazing oh my god um or two dollar tuesday me you know like i just need them <laughs> um so next this is a two dollar tuesday order and um she uh gave me lauren's freebie um i actually don't have any of lauren's freebies because it didn't change so i was trying to collect everyone else's but the color did change um, which I didn't know that. Um, so her uh, her freebie used to be with rose gold and now it's gold. Um, I do love the like little bows and stuff that are on there. So um, this was the like Halloween. This is the um, like Halloween theme one. So you have this brick with the spider webs and all the spiders. Oh my God. This is going to be so great for the Haunted Mansion kit. Um, and then I got the like spider web corners. I love, I didn't really see too many like Halloween $2 Tuesdays. I did get a like one other from um, Letters to Apollo. Oh no. Oh, okay. Okay. Here it is. Um, and then I grabbed some spiders. I am like so scared of spiders. I hate bugs and insects, but it's Halloween. You got it. We got to do it all, you know? Um, and then I got more <laughs> spider webs. These are the spider web halves. I think these are so cute. And then the spider web corners, just all the webs. I needed every single one she had, honestly. And then some more bats. So I have some like, some of these that are like smaller, um, like the standard looking kind of bat, but this one had a little bit of variation. So I wanted to grab this one and they were a little bit bigger. So that is everything that I have right now. Um. So yeah, I'll probably just do the outro. So um. anyway, Yeah. <laughs>
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye.